Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP Spectre X360 or also the model is an HP 14 EA0001 and in this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, repaste the CPU if yours is running really hot. This is just a servicing job, it's not a benchmark between the thermal paste or how cool you can get it. It's just routine repasting and servicing your laptop, which you should be doing once every year, year and a half, depending how often you use your laptop. All right. And by doing a repaste cleaning, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be left the way that you had it before. So you don't have to do any extra configuration, anything like that. All right. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a you know, good workshop towel. One sheet of the workshop towel. And the reason is for the workshop towel, I'll explain in a second. People keep asking me, can I use a microfiber towels and stuff like that? I wouldn't recommend microfiber towels. The reason is for the next tool that is going to be using an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 98% plus. The reason is once you spray alcohol on the towel and you want to clean the components on the board, this towel will rip apart and will prevent the damage on any component on the board. But if you use a microfiber towel and you try to clean the board, it can get tangled on the capacitors and it can uh, damage them. All right, so that's why I recommend you use the microfiber, don't use microfiber towels. All right, and one good thing that you should have, it's a one good screwdriver set. I'll recommend that I fix the screwdriver set. I purchased myself this basic sets as they have one of the best bits out there. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers and stuff like that. If not, just get the basic set. For the opening tools, I'll be recommending a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. And you will need a curved or straight tweezers, a plastic spatula, and a good thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX-4. You can get with the new one. It's an Arctic MX-6, which is really good. Or you can go overkill with the Thermal Grizzly Extreme, which are overkill. So I recommend you to stick with the MX4 or MX6. But with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. Oh, also, I forgot, I have used or clean, used or new toothbrush to clean the fan. All right. So first thing first, down here, we're going to see two screws that are visible right in here. These are the torque screws. And the hidden screws are under the back rubber cover. You want to stick the opening tool just like this right underneath and you want to lift it up. Make sure you bring it in 45 degree angle. Do not yank it up otherwise you're going to break the plastic. Bring it like that. Work yourself all around so you don't want to bend it just like that and put it, place it right beside it. Now you expose the rest of the chrome screws right underneath which are four of them. These screws are Phillips number zero. So you can go ahead and remove these tiny screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Once you remove these screws, you can use the tweezers to bring them up. Right, keep them in one pile. You're gonna grab a torque screw, number five, torque number five, let's see if I'm right. And yeah, torque number five, you're gonna remove the two screws right in the front of the laptop. So I'll put this one here so it auto focuses. All right. Once we do that, you're gonna keep them in a separate pile. Now you're gonna grab yourself the opening tool and we're gonna start from the back corner. From here, you wanna stick the opening tool in between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. And you wanna lift it up just like that. And uh, you want to work yourself all around. You're sticking about one or two millimeter of the guitar pick. You're not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. Oh, look, the cover just came out. So you want to work yourself to just loosen up the clips. And the cover should come out pretty easy. Once you have it outside, go ahead and clean up the dust mesh down here with a toothbrush. And we can see the humongous battery right in front of you. And we can see two fans and two chambers for the heat exhaust that comes right over here over this component. So first thing first, we're going to disconnect the battery right here. You're going to put your fingers on the side of this white jack 
you have a little earlobes, you want to pull it towards the battery. Make sure you bring it evenly. There we go. Once you bring it, just lift it up, bring it to one side. There we go. Now we have disconnected the battery. First, we're going to remove this plastic cover right on top. This is for aesthetics. This is just for the look. So when you look from the bottom grill, you don't see the heat pipe and stuff like that. And there we can see the heat pipe, one right there. There's one CPU, GPU, all in one. So PCS chip, everything is built on one. I can see the Wi-Fi board is soldered on the board. And in here, we have the cable for the display. And this metal comes over here, cooling down something right over here. So first, let's go ahead and lift up this tape. There we go. Now once we lift this tape, well this metal heat comes up with the fan system. And on this side, there's nothing we can do. So we're gonna remove with a Phillips number zero. We're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Anything that touches on the fan, on the heat sink, we're gonna remove all the screws. So go ahead and remove the tiny screws. Remember the by the fan, the screws are right in the corner. These are little longer screws, the black longer screws. Right, the heat sink, the X clamp. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests. And answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove those, they have a little plastic over the fan connectors. You don't actually need them, it just what now to disconnect the fans, you don't want to pull on the cables, it is very delicate. So, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a curved tweezers. What do you want to do? You want to stick it right underneath on the back end and then you want to lift it towards the ceiling the fan connector just like that so it comes up like that same thing in here from the back end where the cables go you want to make a little jack and lift it up right now let's see we need to lift up the heat sink to lift it up, I'm going to grab it from the middle, I'm going to lift it up gently, make sure that I don't have any cables, I'm going to pull it towards myself, and there we have this tiny puny heat sink. You can see this part right in here, there's a thermal pad about one millimeter or two millimeter, one millimeter thermal pad right in here, is calling this power regulator which is right in here. This is just a power regulator for something. All right, so down here we have the CPU and the fan. See the fan is kind of a little dirty. So there we have it. Now if you want to go ahead and clean up the fan really nicely, you can remove one, two screws on each one of them and the fan will come out on the other side. So let's go ahead and put a workshop towel on here. And we're gonna switch to a Phillips double zero. You're gonna remove one screw right in here. I want to screw right over here and another two screws for the left side fan. Once you remove those screws, you should be able to separate the fan from here. But there's a tiny clip from the heat sink that comes over the fan here, it just hangs into it. So you have to lift up this. This cover, you want to open up this hinge and the fan 
should get released. Oh, there's another one right in this side. There we go. Now there we have the fan. So you can open it up and use a toothbrush to clean up the fan system, the air vent right in there. Once it's done, you want to close down this side and hooks right in here. And then you want to push the fan in and it will click in and push down the clips in and put the two screws on top. Same thing in here. There's a one hook right in this side and one hook right in here. Remove it and lift it up and clean it up. Mine is pretty clean, so I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and put the screws for the fan. Don't go crazy tightening up too much. It just gently until it reaches. All right, now we're going to do a repaste. So you want to grab one sheet of the workshop towel, a little bit at one corner, and you want to soak it in an alcohol. And we're going to wipe over the CPU, go in a circular motion, so you get those excess of thermal paste. Flip it inside out. Do a second pass. Don't worry, it's not too delicate. You can just rub it as you want. You can even press on it. And use a dry part to clean the crystal dye. I'm going to use the same towel. Well, I'm putting two fingers at the back of this heat sink, so I don't bend it. I'm going to swipe and clean up this heat sink. All right, now we can see this CPU has two die, one big die and one single small die. This is a PCS chip, South Bridge chip, and this is the main CPU die. We are gonna grab our thermal paste. We're gonna put one big line on the main die and one tiny drop on the secondary die. Now you're gonna grab the, let me shake, this one has a little bit of thermal paste dried up, so I'm gonna shake it. There we go. So we're gonna grab the heat sink. We're gonna put the heat sink side down right there first, and we're gonna drop it right on top. Nicely in place. And we're gonna first stop by cross screwing the screws right on the X clamp. Again, these are Phillips number one, number zero. Always cross screw them so the thermal paste evenly, evenly spreads over the CPU. And put the two screws on each fan. Make sure that you put the longer black screw in the corner nearest to the hinge. Alright, once you're done with that, you want to grab these clips for the fan. You want to align them over the jack. Once it's aligned, you just want to push them and it will click in. Make sure it just clicks in nicely. And then you can put this plastic with an adhesive right on top so it doesn't pop back out. I'm not really a big fan of these ones, but if you don't put yours, it's fine. It's nothing is going to happen. Those things don't come out. Same thing in here, align it and then put the jack connector right in there. Make sure it's goes flat in. And put that one right over. To finish it off, grab this plastic cover, align it nicely, and put it right on top. To finish it off, is to just grab the battery connector right in here, jack, evenly align it in front of the connector, and push it inside the jack. Just pinch it all the way in. And there we go. Once everything is done, double check everything, nothing is sticking out. Grab the bottom cover, put it right on top, push the corner, make sure you hear those click sounds. If you see any gap opening, you just have to press them really hard and it will go to its place go all around pinching them this side has a little gap 
There we go. The back and there. And to finish it off, to put the bottom back screw and the uh, rubber cover just over. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the screws right in here.